There's only one crane on site now. One time there was three, and this crane comes down on Saturday, and uh, my conducting of it will be the last actions of crane movement over uh, what is the future St. Martins. So we're trying to like conduct it so it's motion, trying to keep it within how it moves normally anyway, but just pull it into a pattern. Basically a huge temporary public artwork. What's your name? Graham Hudson, the Peter Aikens. Yeah, Peter Aikens wants to speak to you. I oh, know it's Graham Hudson, but Peter Aikens like set this up. Well, can you speak to him? Hi Dave, this is Graham Hudson. Ask her to pass you through the turnstile to the canteen. Shall I meet you in the canteen? Yes, mate. What I was thinking was to uh, try and take the motion of the crane and really make it become like a pendulum. It goes 180, 180, then when it's 170 and back, so you, you get, it gets the feeling, yeah, that it gets reduced yeah. and reduced, but at a nice steady pace. So it's almost like if it was a weight here yeah. and it would gradually like come to a stop in the middle. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It's, it's got four or five speeds on the crane, so I, I think probably speed two yeah. will be, should be sufficient. You'll probably do that in about 15, 20 minutes. Do you actually want to go on site as well and, and do this on site, or do you want to do it from We were thinking the of doing here? a shot just sort of over here towards Kier. the Kier site, yeah. just because to try and get, I mean, like, uh, to get this shot so you can get the full arc of it yeah. in as it comes backwards and forwards. So is, uh, the walkie-talkies, we can all be over there and just direct it from there. Anyway, yes. Yeah, that would be great. We could just all be together. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So no problem. No problem. I should have come up with something more complicated, right? Yeah. That's the easy I'm part. I'm sure he'll find a way to complicate Yeah. That's the easy part, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go for it. So one of the things we're using as a, so much an, ins an inspiration, but a way of thinking about rhythm and motion is a metronome. It's always in rhythm anyway. It's just this broken timekeeping piece for how the site gets built. So we're thinking about pendulums, about beats, about timing, rhythm, and see if we can just uh, capture that inside one frame, which is the trick. I want you to, I want you to keep, do, a, do a, a 360 and then keep going round like that, backwards and forwards, and knocking a little bit off each time, like a pendulum, if you know what I mean. Right, are you ready now, yeah? 350 degrees, yeah? Yes, and then it'll be 340. The other way. The other way then. That looks about good, I reckon. Don't want to come up to the cream for a better view. Keep going, mate, keep going. Just a touch more, keep going. The problem, Andy, is there with the wind, is it? OK, Andy, that's it, mate. Can you uh, park her up for the night? I'll see you when you get down, mate. Thank you. Hello, Andy. Hello, Thanks very much for your patience up there. That was us, like, squawking in his ear, yeah, no bother. trying to keep it all, uh... But no, it was great. Yeah? Yeah. How oh, good up there? Yeah, no, it looked awesome. The pigeon love it. The, <laughs> Do they? You want to see the crap up there? Really? <laughs> they must rest, roost on it on a night. Right. And it's covered up there. Right. Try to Nice. Time flags and everything up there, but, yeah. No, that was awesome. Thanks, mate. Yeah, no problem, anytime. Should I come up for a look? Well, they said I couldn't come up. Why? I don't well, know. Comes up. Yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe next week. Yeah. I'll, next ask, week, you, I'll ask Pete. I'll ask Pete. Always Pete. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's true.